The last question type that we're going to look at in standard questions is fill in the blank, drag and drop. You will notice the same option here with the other as with the other two fill in the blank is that you're going to put in an underscore wherever you have an option for your students to fill something in. Let's get some information in here and show you what that's going to look like. I have the same information that I had on the drop down, but now I am only going to add options to fill these in. You can have more options than they would actually use. You can have some kind of distractor options, but I'm going to add these in here. What are each of my correct answers? And then down below, you're going to see this is what it's going to look like to your students. They're going to have a word bank down below and be able to drag those up into order into the places where they go. Um, please note that just like some of those other questions, it's going to put them in the exact same order that you put them in up here. There's no shuffle. Uh, so the recommendation is to drag these around and change that order yourself, um, alphabetical or however you want to do it. You can add some extra options and have things that are not going to be correct if you want to. And then you can always hit preview to see what this is going to look like to your students. Down below, you have the option of the exact match or a partial match again. There are some additional setups um, with word wrap and the width. You can play around with those in the preview area to see what that is going to change. And as with the other question types, you have the option of adding learning objectives to this type of question. Um, we're going to hit save and there we go. Now we can see each of our question types. Before we wrap things up though, I did want to show you if you decide at any point that you want to change the order of your question, you can simply drag and drop your questions anywhere within your assessment. You also have three dots over here which allow you to edit copy or delete a question. You don't actually have to click on these to edit a question. If you click anywhere in this big button, it's going to take you in and allow you to edit your question. And then up here at the top, you will see the total so far is 30 points. There are seven questions. As stated in an earlier video, you can make this assessment worth only 10 points when it's going to uh, sync over to PowerSchool. Even though there were 30 points here, Schoology will do the math for you. And that is our last question type for this workshop.